Hey, good morning. Welcome to today's daily walk. And I was just in the middle of my run and had this conversation with Jesus in my mind, in my heart. And I just stopped the run. I had to share. I don't know why the Holy Spirit is so strong on this topic right now, but it is. So should you share your giving? So I had a, a conversation. I actually think there's some biblical backing to this. So my, my, my extremely uh, knowledgeable Bible friends can maybe quote the verse. But there's some things in the Bible that say, hey, you need to be very quiet about your giving or maybe quiet quiet isn't the word, you basically don't want to like throw it out there, brag about it, so to speak, okay? And I was talking to a buddy of mine, he just donated $10,000 to um, to St. Jude's Children's Hospital and like nobody knew, I didn't even know. He just rebuilt um, a person's entire backyard who's going through some rough times, he owns a construction company, he rebuilt like the entire backyard. I, I had no idea, I had no idea. And this guy's, he's not necessarily, he is a Christian, but he's not necessarily practicing and I had no idea. So it kind of begs the question because when he told me these things, I was like, whoa, Oh, no way. Like it literally wanted me to step up my giving. I'm like, dude, you just jo donated 10 G to St. Children's Hospital. Like literally I'm going through like my bank records. I'm like, Erica, we need to up our time, man. This guy, you know, he's a close friend of ours. So let's, let's talk about, should you share your giving? Let's first talk about my first point. There's four points um, that I'm going to make is one is let's just say that you had a drug, caffeine. I'll just say, okay, you have caffeine. And when you have that caffeine, you feel great. It releases dopamine. Okay, you're probably gonna tell a lot of people like, hey, when you drink this caffeine stuff, you feel great, okay? Well, the way that our physiology is designed, and this is, this is science, this is, you can test this. When we give, our brains light up like uh, they've compared the brains of people that give and the response they get back to people that have done like a line of cocaine. Their, their dopamine goes crazy. Your neurotransmitters go crazy. If you want to test that, if you have kids and you know your kid really wants something, maybe it's a toy, um, give it to them unexpectedly. Their, their face will light up and you'll be talking about it a year later. We just gave um, one of my nephews, we got him some underwear for his birthday and he was like, oh, underwear. But then under the, the underwear was like this big toy you wanted and he lit up and I'm talking to you about this right now because it is ingrained in my brain and it brings joy to my heart. When you give, it brings joy to your heart. So that's my first challenge. Why would you not want to share that to other people? Okay, so it kind of goes on to like this, like weak people need strong people, right? If there's someone on the side of the road and you can tell they're trying to pick up the spare tire and they can't and you're a strong person, you can help them. Are you going to be like, oh, I don't want to help them. No, they're weak. In this scenario, you're gonna help them. You're gonna be strong, okay? Sick people need to know the stories of healthy people. If I am sick, I need to know, I, I, not, I need to be exposed to stories of people that are not sick, that have beaten the sickness, right? Okay, greedy people. Are there greedy people in our world? And I'm gonna tell you, what do greedy people say? They say, hey, I gotta be in it just for me because that's how everyone else is. Greedy people need to see giving people so that their brain isn't just exposed to greed because that's what their biggest number one reason why they don't give they're like i'm not gonna give nobody gives okay so i'm really hoping i'm, I'm challenging some of your beliefs right now so okay you you understand like yeah when we give it's a good drug i do want other people to feel good when they when they when they feel those emotions and, and, and have those memories but i don't know like you know, what do you want me to do? Like take a picture when I drop it into the bucket, into the, in, into the, the, the church? Or what do you want me to do? Constantly be sharing like, hey, look at me, I'm this big giver. No, I understand what you mean there, but here are a few other ways that you can share your giving and make this world a more giving world. Number one, share your actions. Okay, hey, we post on Facebook when uh, our, our kids turn two years old. We post on, on Facebook when we get a job promotion. All awesome, all positive. But if you share your actions, say that you're volunteering somewhere this weekend. Hey, I'm really looking forward. Uh, I got joy in my heart. I'm really looking forward to, to volunteering at the soup kitchen this uh, today. Or hey, I'm really looking forward to um, volunteering. To, we're going to renovate the, the Clinton River cleanup. My dad used to do that. He used to do this Clinton River cleanup where they find this dirty river and they clean it up. You know, I mean, then people are like, wow, man, that guy's really donating his time. That's cool. That's awesome. And it will inspire other people. If I flip through social media and all I see is people volunteering for this, volunteering for that, guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna be like, dude, I got to step up my volunteer your game. But if all I do is if what I'm scrolling through is I don't see any giving, I don't see anyone giving, no, none of, no one's doing that drug, so to speak, I'm going to be like, ah, cool, just sit around watching movies today or whatnot, okay? So number three, share your energy. 
I have a guy, he's a father, and he puts all, all these crazy stuff that he does with his kids, and it's a father and, and, uh, and, and his wife, and they do all these amazing things with their kids, and they share their energy. They're giving their energy out on social media, and it brings joy to my heart. I'm like, wow, man. This, this guy is such an amazing father. He is giving of his energy. That is so cool. Another way that you can give, tactfully give, uh, I should say, is share your passion. Okay, I'm passionate about nutrition and I'm passionate about Jesus and I'm passionate about my marriage. So when you go to my social media, what are you gonna see? You're gonna see nutrition advice, free nutrition advice. You can apply it to your life. You're gonna see Bible verses, things that I'm passionate about. And you're gonna see my wife and I trying to have the best rocking marriage that we have. And hopefully by us sharing that, it can maybe bring some joy to your heart and maybe you'll share some of the highlights of you, what you're passionate about. So if you're passionate about something, share that, be a giver. But my, again, my challenge would be, and kind of what Jesus and I were talking about, is we don't share our giving, and he knows, we don't share our giving so it's like, hey, look at me, you know, I'm such a giver. I'm a giver giver sin, you know, give me likes, give me comments. No, 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 it is we share our giving to pave the road for maybe the greedy or maybe the selfish who are out there saying, you know what, no one gives. Guy across the street don't give. I gotta just keep what's mine. You never know what's gonna happen. I gotta keep what's mine. Picture exposing that brain to your giving heart. Not saying like, hey, you gotta give like me. Absolutely not. It's all by example. That's what leaders do. Leaders charge up that first and that second mountain in life and they say, hey, I'm giving along the way. I'm helping people up that mountain. And then other people at the bottom of the mountain, they see, wow, it is possible to sustain yourself and give to other uh, human beings. So I would say get loud about your giving and by your example, by your actions, by your energy, and by your passion. Get loud about your giving and it will level up everybody around you. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'd love to hear in the comments any contrary viewpoints or if you agree, if there's any points that you somewhat agree with or just totally agree with, I'd love to have discussion on this about how we should be getting loud about our giving. You guys have a great growth-driven rest of your day.